I just dropped my application off at this Burger King, except for when I come back from my interview, I'm gonna be covered in tattoos. You see, every time I go to Burger King, the people are so nice. But the question is, will they hire a man covered in tattoos? I was always told that having tattoos will affect whether or not I can get a job. And I have a couple of tattoos. I even have one that links to my favorite music video. But my job for the last few years has been making videos for strangers. So today, I'm gonna put that theory to the test and get absolutely covered in tattoos before my job interview. No. Literally, I'm gonna get real tattoos all over my body. According to a recent study, hiring managers prefer that candidates don't have tattoos, meaning if I'm covered in ink, it will not only hurt my chances of getting hired, but also may lower my starting wage. <gasps> Oh. And I haven't had a job in three years because, uh, you know, YouTube isn't a real job. I have a four-step game plan that will ensure my ultimate success. First, I gotta get tattooed from head to toe. Then show some friends that they work, build my confidence for the interview, and finally, nail a job interview at my favorite fast food place, Burger King. I was realizing how unprepared I was for the task. When I asked Nora how long it would take to cover my entire body, she told me... I think one month. One month? And later, I found out that it took this guy 200 160 hours and fifty-four thousand dollars in order to cover 95% of his body with tattoos. But my interview was in two days time and according to Google, I don't have time to fit 260 hours of tattooing in so I had to think fast and that's when I had a big brain moment. I remembered seeing Inkbox on Instagram who apparently make these tattoos that last one to two weeks which is perfect. They do this by using what they call a semi-permanent tattoo technology so I reached out to Inkbox and thankfully they wanted to sponsor the video and let me tell you they did not disappoint. That is a lot of tattoos. Oh my gosh. You guys, this video would not be possible without Inkbox. So huge thank you to them. Time to put some of these things on. Inkbox comes with this primer wipe, which you lather on ahead of time and then you put the tattoo on. Time was of the essence. My interview was in eight hours and I needed to begin covering my body. Thankfully, this process was easy to do. And before long, I'd completely covered my arms. And these might look faded, but don't worry. They get much darker in just a few hours which will be perfect for my interview. It's time for the face, the neck, and the hands. We gotta put this to the test. And Inkbox tattoos are so good that they actually recommend not placing them on your face or neck. So hopefully they're cool with this. I was feeling pretty cool, but it was time to get a second opinion and see what my wife thinks of my tats and if I can actually get a job looking like this. Hey, Karin, I got a surprise for you. I was a bit nervous to show my wife. Yeah. I'm tatted up. Oh. Look at this Oh my this gosh, this is not real, is it? It's real. For the next week or two. Thanks oh to Inkbox. Karin was more concerned about how I'd look at church. I'm much church cooler. On Sunday. Wait, is this real? Oh yeah. I forgot to tell her that I got a couple of real tattoos too. This one is real. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot to tell you, I did get a couple of real tattoos. They're so epic. Let's go. There was just one more person to show my new look. He's gonna be so surprised. Come on, Dave, pick up. It's like a rash that's like oozing. I, I don't know. Dave, yeah. what are you talking about? So, sorry, I got this like hemorrhoid cream and it's giving me like the worst rash. Like it's literally like pussy. Do you notice anything different? Well, no, the doctor said it usually takes like two weeks like to see it. I was talking about anything different for me. I have tattoos. Yeah, but you've always had tattoos. Oh, it's the, the neck ones near you. Ah, uh, okay. I'm not sure about that one. So I didn't, I didn't realize that they were hemorrhoids. As Dave went on about his hemorrhoids, I decided it was time to live my new life as a tattoo gentleman. Let's go. Isaiah, what are you wearing? This is a wife beater. Okay, cool tattoo guys wear wife beaters. No, I'm talking about the shoes. Those are Car not motorcycle shoes. These are Sakai vapor waffles. These are stylish, okay? And they're gonna work on the motorcycle oh just fine. God. I was feeling pretty cool. My new look was perfect for my interview. However, my motorcycle, well, it, it wasn't. So I uh, pushed it back up the hill, which really knocked my confidence down a notch. And let's be honest, I need to build some confidence in the real world before my interview. As I was grocery shopping, I felt a few eyes on my fresh tattoos, but every step was increasing my chances of working at Burger King. I was so confident, I was buying the cool vegetables. Green onions. And green onions are great, but Dave told me I needed Dutch courage before the big interview, which I apparently will acquire after drinking a tall glass of fun juice. My confidence was building 
so high. It was almost too much confidence. Just like I'm confident in passing my arch nemesis, The Rock. And we're almost 1 million away from passing him. So please join the movement. Hit that subscribe button. So right before putting all my hard work to the test and seeing if tattoos really do matter at my interview, I found a pep talk from my man, Steve. My name is Kunle Halagan. You can also call me Steve. That shockingly, only 38 other people have ever seen. Steve is an expert in his field. And as you're about to see, his tips are game changing. Right, Burger King. I was extremely nervous for this interview. The camera everywhere. The interview has started. I cannot overemphasize it. How's it going, buddy? Good, how are you doing? Good. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. What's your name again? Joe. Joe. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. I have to speak about the building. Yeah, it's a lovely building. You guys got a nice building here. Really nice. Brand new. Looks good. Yeah, well, Is it new? It was here. Yeah. No. Steve, your tactics are not working. When you ask, tell me about yourself. You have to walk me through your career. Tell me about yourself because you didn't put very much. I like tattoos. I got my school guy over here. Travel the world. I got a palm tree, some mountains. I don't even know what this says, but it's some text I got here. Nice. I completely avoided Steve's advice. Make sure you support your answers with examples. I'm good with customer service. I actually have this uh, customer service tattoo just in case, you know, people are like, a good time. They could just poke me and let me know it was a good one or if it's a bad one. Flexible with your schedule. Time off with your tattoos. Time off for tattoos. Yeah. You're speaking my language. And also, it will be key for you to understand the salary because you cannot ask that question during interview. What's the uh, what's the salary? Well, if you don't mind. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. Jerry's, yeah, no. Jerry says never to ask that. So. Who the heck is Jerry? You can also call me Steve. It's okay, no, I was kidding. It was the next. Yeah. Joe asked me the one question that scared me the most. Tell me about your work history. I haven't had a job for a few years. I just got really into tattoos for a bit. So are you a tattoo artist? Or no, no, I just really like him. I like your work. Man. Thank you. Wait, it's working. He's falling right into my hands. <laughs> and, uh, Make sure you ask questions. Do you have any questions? I don't think so. Say to them, you look forward to their positive feedback. Appreciate all your positive feedback. Make sure you shake hand family. And someday we're going to get a matching tattoo. <laughs> Maybe. Thank you so much, you Joe. You seem like the guy that might be able to drag me in there. I think I can, I think I can get you to do it. Hopefully this interview tips has been very, very useful. And so I went back the next day to see if Joe would get matching tattoos. I did it. <laughs> I literally got a job at Burger King just now. How? Shout out to Joe. What an absolute legend. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe I just got a job at Burger King. I was extremely nervous to tell Joe that these tattoos were fake and that I Joe, didn't need the job. He was absolutely ecstatic to see me, but I had to break the news. I actually don't need a job. No okay. Joe explained to me that the tattoos really didn't matter. Tattoos are a regular thing. I don't see it as a reason not to give you a job or to stereotype you. You had a bright personality. By their parents. And I decided to give Joe a little gift for wasting his time. I'll give that to you because I, I, I definitely wasted a bit of your time. I appreciate you, Joe. And even though Joe didn't want to get a tattoo with me, it didn't matter because he made me fall in love with Burger King even more. Huge thank you to Inkbox for sponsoring this video. You guys follow the link in the description and use my code for 25% off your order through June.